Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in flypaper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight, more than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Boom Boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Good march. Look at the angle of that nice body switch. All right, single collar tie now. 
Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful legs. Up. Checks the leg kick. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Beautiful kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Under three minutes now to go in the round. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Lee. Establish that jab once again. He blocks the punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Right hand punch with the clinch. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Back and forth we go! Oh, that big knee. knee! That knee hurt him! She flips the guard, lands the right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Leg kicks coming. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot land. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, let's get to round two. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with his right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Circling towards the left now. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Nice leg kick. Unable to connect with a right hook. Well, you saw us reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Great punch landed with so much power. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Takedown defense holds up. All right, he engages in a single collie tie here. Just misses with the straight right. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Let's get him down. Nice straight punch. Kick is blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back and forth we go here. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at him drive his shin into his body with that body kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, where is he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. <laughs> Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue, and they separate. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Blocks the shot. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Effective punch there by Lee. Really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Try to establish that jab. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful 
that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice defense there, huge block. Just missed with the left there. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to, to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. <laughs> Sound strike on the ground. Ground and pound has been there all night. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. have crossed the midpoint of this one. to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his... Shot there, DC. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. for the end. 
outside leg kick. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. left now. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Huge block there. Beautiful strike. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, but even with the feet on the He's hurt! He's hurt! He will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Three minutes have flown off the fight clock there.
just misses with the kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull him down. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him. What a performance. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. Boom, boom. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.